Hey, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have three easy and delicious summer desserts for you. These would be perfect for cookouts, potlucks, get togethers for July 4th, Father's Day, Labor Day, or just, you know, any occasion at all. They're so incredibly quick to put together and like I said, delicious. So let's get into these recipes. First up, I tried a new recipe for a strawberry pretzel salad dip. Now I've had strawberry pretzel salad before and enjoy it, but when I saw this dip on Pinterest, I knew that I needed to give it a try. If you've never had a strawberry pretzel salad, don't let the salad word confuse you. <laughs> Here in the South, really anything can be a salad, but it's basically like a, a cream cheese layer, um, strawberries with like jello, and then a pretzel buttery crust. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to give this dip a try, just a few ingredients, let me show you how to put this together. And a quick note, this recipe will be linked in the description box below and I halved the recipe. So you need some granulated sugar, softened cream cheese, some whipped topping, and if you would like to make your own homemade whipped cream, of course you can use that instead of the Cool Whip some strawberry pie filling, and then these pretzel thins. You could also just use uh, pretzel sticks or like the little twisty pretzels, whatever you prefer. You can put this in a stand mixer or use a hand mixer. I'm just using a bowl in my hands today. So I'm going to place my softened cream cheese into that bowl. I'm going to add in the sugar and beat that until everything is combined really well and the mixture is softened. Next, I'm going to gently fold in the Cool Whip, or in this case, the Walmart version of Cool Whip. And you wanna be gentle with this. You don't wanna take all the air out of the whipped topping or whipped cream if you're using that. Next, we're going to gently fold in a little bit of the strawberry pie filling. Now, I added a little too much and it made this mixture pretty pink, uh, which is fine. I mean, it was still delicious. But once we folded in that strawberry pie filling, that's really it. You're gonna place this into a serving bowl and you can serve it immediately or you can refrigerate it for up to 24 hours. So here's what it looked like when it was done. I added a little extra strawberry pie filling on top as a garnish and this was yummy. Now, we also tried dipping uh, fresh strawberries into this that was delicious we also had some of the like chessmen uh, cookies on hand and we tried that in it that was delicious and it really tasted um, like a strawberry cheesecake I mean really you have the strawberries the whipped cream uh, you know and the the cream cheese so those little chessmen cookies were yummy but this was so easy so quick to put together and I think your guests will really like it Next, I'm making red, white, and blue trifles. Now, I don't follow a recipe when I make these, but I will do my best to find a recipe similar to how I make them and post it down in the description box for you. All right, let me show you what I'm going to use to make these. So for the red part, I'm using fresh strawberries. For blue, I'm using blueberries, of course. And then for the white in the trifles, I'm going to make some homemade whipped cream. To do that, I like to use whipping cream, powdered sugar, and a little vanilla, but you can, of course, just use, uh, you know, Cool Whip. That is absolutely fine. I do have some strawberry pie filling left over from uh, making the strawberry pretzel dip, so I am going to chop up some of the strawberries and put, uh, them into that pie filling but most of the time i just use uh, just the regular strawberries and then for the cake portion of this really you can use whatever cake you prefer you can make up a box white cake um, a lot of times i'll use the sara lee frozen pound cakes that you get in the freezer section of your grocery store you just allow it to thaw that's delicious i just cube that up um, you can also use like uh, angel food cake from your uh, grocery store bakery or homemade uh, but today i am going to use these dessert shells just get these in uh, normally in the produce section near where the strawberries are and then to uh, make the trifles I'm going to use these little plastic cups you could really use anything you could do mason jars or instead of doing individual size like I'm doing you could just use a big bowl or a big um, like cake uh serving plate or you know a trifle dish whatever you've got on hand it really doesn't matter all right let me show you how to put these together so easy to start i'm going to cut off the green parts of the strawberry slice them up and place them into that strawberry pie filling and give that a stir now like i said normally i make this and i don't use the pie filling i just use the strawberries uh, sometimes i make this and macerate the strawberries so i'll cut them up put some white sugar on them and just allow them to set so that they kind of um, get juicy and develop its own little syrup. 
All right, so I'm going to set those strawberries aside, and in this bowl, I'm going to make the whipped cream. Again, you can just use Cool Whip. That's totally fine. I'm going to add in my heavy whipping cream, the powdered sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and then using my hand mixer, I'm just going to mix that on about medium high for a few minutes until the whipped cream forms peaks like this. Give it a taste and see if you want to add a little more sugar or vanilla. Um, you could also flavor this up. You could use maple syrup or any other flavorings that you want. I'm just going to keep it simple today. Now we're going to layer everything. So here I'm taking those dessert shells. I'm going to cut them into cubes. I'm going to place some into the bottom of these little containers. Next, I'm going to add some of that strawberry mixture. Then I'm gonna add some of my whipped cream and I like to spread that out with a spoon. Next, I'm going to add some blueberries and then repeat the layers. So another layer of cake the strawberries, the whipped cream, and then blueberries. Now for this final layer, I tried to arrange the blueberries so it looked like a star. It didn't really look like a star, it looked more like a flower, but that's okay, it still tasted good. If you wanna be a little more festive for like July 4th, you can arrange the blueberries on top so that they do form a star shape, or you could also just use some festive sprinkles. That would be super cute. But these are super yummy. You can eat them right away, of course, or you can also place them covered in the refrigerator uh, until you're ready to serve it. Finally, I'm going to share a Snicker salad recipe. And again, don't let the salad name fool you here in the South. Like I said, anything really can be a salad, especially if it calls for Cool Whip. I've noticed that. <laughs> All right, you don't need a lot of ingredients for this either. Let me show you what you need. So again, we're gonna use good old Cool Whip. We've got some milk caramel ice cream topping, some apples, vanilla pudding dry mix. You don't wanna go ahead and prepare that, you want it dry. And then you'll need some Snicker bars. Now, the Easter Bunny got me a big bag of these little fun size Snickers, so I'm going to try to use those up, but you can just use regular size Snickers bars. In my bowl, I'm going to add the vanilla pudding mix and the milk and stir that with a whisk until it's combined really well. A couple quick notes, of course, the recipe will be linked in the description box below. And I believe I quartered this recipe because again, I was just making it for my husband and I, so I didn't need a lot of it, um, but the full recipe will be linked down below. Next, I'm going to gently fold in the Cool Whip. And once that's done, I am going to dice up my apples, dice up my Snickers bars, add those to this mixture, and then give it one last stir. I left the skins on my apples, but if you want to peel them, of course, it's your kitchen. You feel free to do that. And you can use whatever kind of apples you prefer. I think I used Red Delicious, uh, but I think Granny Smith would also be good in this. You've got so much sweetness with everything else. I think that would be a good balance. So you can place this into a serving dish or just serve it out of the bowl you've made it in. I'm going to drizzle it with some of that caramel ice cream topping. And then I like to take uh, some of the Snickers that I've chopped up and just place them on top as a garnish. And then that's it. This is going to go into the refrigerator covered for about an hour and then it's ready to serve. And this is just cool. It's refreshing and it really tastes like uh, like a uh, you know those dipped apples when they put like caramel and peanuts on them? That's really what it tastes like to me. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video and I hope that you'll give one or all of these recipes a try. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.